Hi, we Bob here, and in this video we're going to draw this digital oil paint sunset scene, kind of like a fantasy world environment one. Starting off, I've tried to keep this tutorial as easy as I can using the minimum amount of brushes and using the minimum amount of colours that I can possibly get away with. The colour set for this was made from the original reference image, and this is a reference image here. So I used the make your own colour set tool that you can use, and it gave me these colours to use. And I added a few other ones to my liking. I'll put all the colours in so that you can follow along. So first, we need to make sure we have the pressure slider available to us. This can be accessed through the three lines menu, and then show sliders and click pressure. So looking at our reference image, we can see where we can put down all the large colour areas. Um, so we're going to put down a real dark blue to start off with. And we're going to do that using a filbert brush. And we get this hex code 141318. And uh, aye, it sounds like uh, Good Morning Vietnam and Robin Williams with hex code RGB, CMYK, HSV, HSL. The former VP will be here on Friday. <laughs> I expect every minute of the VP's PC. Excuse me, sir. Seeing as how the VP is such a VIP, shouldn't we keep the PC on the QT? Because if it leaks to the VC, you can end up in MIA and then we'd all be put on KP. So I then go back over this to get a less kind of rigid structure. You can just see this kind of straight line. And it's just to get the colours down on the page. So the second colour we choose is this dark brownie reddy colour. The third colour we use is this orangey colour. So we end up with three blocks. So going back to colour two, Going back to the second colour that we used, we add some of this darker brown colour at the top. Notice that the colours mix and change each time we use our brush. This is due to these two buttons on the left, which are multicoloured brush and dirty brush. Multicoloured brush load two or more colours onto the brush tip and paint with multiple colours. The beginning of the multicoloured brush stroke consists of all picked colours. The colours are then mixed together to a colour which is at the average value of these colours. The dirty brush, I think they could maybe have come up with a different name for that. But anyway, this sets an oil or acrylic brush to retain traces of a previously picked colour, along with traces of any other colours it encounters in the canvas. When we don't want that mixing, we can turn these off and it sometimes helps. So I turned these tools off for the moment to allow the colour applied to be purely the colour which we have chosen. This gives us this colour mix that starts to take place while painting. To give the composition of the image, we add the sun position here, which is about two thirds across the page. So think about your thirds, the rule of thirds. After we've drawn the sun, the next colour choice is this reddy orange colour. We look at the reference photo and we can see that this red colour in these areas and we lay some of this colour down in the general area of the sun. Going back to a more brown colour, we add more of these large colours again looking at our reference and adding this brown colour to try and get those colours into the areas that we then want to start kind of mixing them. We're still using the same brush at this point. No other brushes have been chosen, just the filbert brush that I mentioned at the beginning. Then back to the red colour, adding some of this colour over to the left of the drawing. Going back to the sun area, we add more yellow. This yellow is added into an area where I can generally see in the reference picture where it should be. At this point I move over to just using a blender version of this brush. Therefore no more paint is being added to the drawing, to the canvas, to the painting. We are blending and we get to push the colours around and gives us a lot of control to mimic what we see or what we might want to achieve. I'm doing this according to the reference picture, but I'm not being too rigid about trying to mimic that. And I don't think you should be. Art is meant to be fun. So if you're being too rigid, it can sometimes take the fun away. I have already done this drawing once before, and it was just me trying out all the brushes, which made making a tutorial out of it very complex. I probably prefer my first drawing, and that's where you've got to experiment. You've got to get in there and try out different brushes, see if there's a texture that you like better that fits with your drawing. But I'm going to go over some of the different brushes that I used there to get some specific effects a wee bit later in this video. After blending the colours to how I want them, I use this dabber brush to keep some texture on the drawing. Just make sure you're using the correct tool when working away as they can change based on the brush you select. We then add reflections onto the sea, just using like a fine line brush. At this point, I decided to duplicate the layer. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I tend to work off the least amount of layers possible. In this case, just one layer. When I get to a stage in the painting that I'm happy with, I will duplicate all the layers of that layer 
and sometimes merge them together which then allows me to take a stage point where I can just experiment, do what I like, the beauty of digital painting and as such a freedom to be able to experiment and say don't like that and move into different areas. So I duplicate the layer and then I turn off the original layer knowing it is there to revert to if I need. I'm then going to start putting this cliff feature in. When I first finished this painting I thought I want something else in here in my brain and I was looking at some fantasy drawings with cliffs and different features and I decided to put a cliff in on the right. Again, it's a rock face, it's not symmetrical, don't be too specific and just try to make a rock looking feature with jaggy lines. Using this brown colour to show again that the sun is providing light to some parts of the rocky feature. We then add in our little figure on top of the rock to their story. I'll let you decide what their story is. Are they a guard? Are they up there to do fishing? Is that a fishing rod in their hand? Is it a martial arts person standing there ready to do some training? You, you, you make up your own mind. Tell me in the comments if you want. Again, using some of the yellow from the sun to provide some reflection off the edge of the, the rock just to help it stand out from the background. Adding all the little small details at the end. For the first version of the water I used a dry knife to blend in and get a really nice sea effect playing around with the pressure slider on the left and the pressure I was actually placing onto the tablet with my digital pen. The rock version in the first painting I really liked the texture of and this was done using a liner oil brush as illustrated. If you're interested in getting into Rebel 5, getting into digital art, check out this video in the corner which compares other softwares cost wise what hardware is required, what my computer hardware is. I put out videos most weeks, so if you like this, please remember to subscribe, please remember to like, and Weebob is out.